And when you look at a microscopic level, um, the uh, secondary injury mechanisms are listed above. I'm not going to list every single one of them, but uh, edema formation, vascular changes are important, electrolyte shifts, uh, free radicals, um, and some of the secondary injury treatments or neuroproductive strategies sort of target these secondary injury uh, mechanisms. When you look at the spinal cord grossly after injury, um, interestingly, the most cases, the spinal cord is in continuity in some way, either attached by axonal remnants or astrocytic remnants, scar tissue, or intact axons that are just simply non-functionally, non-functionally possibly demyelinated. So even in someone who's so-called complete, may still have uh, neurological elements bridging the area of injury. Um, and so that's an important point in terms of trying to identify uh, possible uh, treatments. Uh, the most common pathology is that, that of an area of central cystic necrosis or cystic degeneration. Um, and uh, that's usually uh, evolves from an area of central hemorrhage. And there may be a pres preservation of peripheral rim of white matter or pia. This is a autopsy specimen. And you can see here that there's a fracture dislocation. There's a central area of hemorrhage within the cord, but the cord is still in continuity. Uh, and this is the, sort of the most common thing that you see after spinal cord injury. You can also see cord maceration in more severe injuries or cord laceration, for example, in a knife or a gunshot wound. And in the, some of the more minor injuries, like we'll be talking about the central cord injury, you'll just see some central softening uh, with axonal disruption, but not necessarily anything more than that. And th those are for some of the lighter injuries. If you look under the microscope, you'll see central hemorrhage, especially in the gray matter, necrosis, necrosis, edema. You'll see axonal injury with retraction of the axonal uh, ends. With uh, And if the axons are transected, you'll see organelle accumulation and swelling. You'll see myelin sheath injury, including demyelination. And inflammation, also very important, again, as a secondary injury target. A secondary injury uh, uh, sort of target for drugs, for example. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.